Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to part six of Let's Play Crusader Kings 3. A Game of Thrones. <laughs> there we go. Uh, how, some flowers have fawns. Well, we are currently uh, doing a tournament where we have won the melee. Wait, what? Now, now, that's not me. That's some random douchebag in my place. What a dick. Anyway, we're going to be continuing, obviously, moving forward here as we are uh, the favoured to win the duel. Uh, let us go to the Arzen Claws again. Let's prepare for my upcoming match. I spot Lady Jenna of Laughing Hills hailing me by waving a handkerchief around, offering me her favour. Before I can respond, Lady Nerissa of Weissen appears holding a handkerchief out for me and insisting I take hers instead. have a match to focus on please women get the fuck out of my way i mean peasants i don't even know if they are peasants but you know peasants as far as i'm concerned oh no i'm no longer the favored what the fuck happened uh all right yes time would be not spending uh we're gonna go and visit the uh go visit the temple this time and that'll be the last place we visit before the beginning of the thing as Thomas moves aside to let me approach, I take a solemn moment alone in the sept and in the tournament grounds. Pondering in the presence of the seven who are one, I find myself wondering what is the wish in my heart of hearts to see coming from the days of revelry. Bring me glory, the warrior. Uh, just okay, here we go. Duel contest begins. The contestant march onto the field, taking their places around the sparring quad. As the herald announces the contest com commencement, the squared off ring is being looked over in the background, rattled and shaken to ensure no give should con contestants crash into it. The duel qualifies, qualifies have come to an end, and it is clear who will be put forward for the qu quarterfinals as it stands. The varied pitches and volumes of the crowd cheer, leave no uh, question as the favourites. For my first part, I have been paired against my fellow contestant, Lord Owing of Rustling. I have a bet to place. I'm going to place the bet on me. Uh, before the duel contest had been begun, someone has been caught in the act of sabotage. Lord Alwyn was tampering with Lawrence's armor, weakened the lever points to secure the components in the hope that they would wear f wear through mid-bout. Understandably, Lord Miner has disqualified him from the contest, much to the intended victim's delight. Shameless. A screeching chorus of metal on rings out as two rings out on two as two blades scrape down each other's lengths. Sparks glittering as they fall to the ground. I look for, for an advantage, thinking back to when I'm winning, when I am winning this fight by some margin. I just need to hold it together for a few moments more. We advance upon each other once more. We are both battered, both tired, and there can only be one winner. I must remember my training. The dual quarterfinals are over. The Herald looms. Lord Lucerus of Drismark. Lord Martin of the Arbor, Lord Riman of Wakefield, and Lord Simon of Freeridge have reached the semi-finals. My next bout is against my fellow contestant, Lord Ryman. I can do this. My blade crash clashes with that of my opponent, Ryman. Sparks sent flying as the two weapons gate. We both step back, cling, circling to our left. Ryman swings at me, the sword point funding into the ground after passing my body. Quick as a viper, I step in and kick it as hard as possible. Ripped from his grasp, Ryman's sword cartwheels off in the air, landing to both our aura amongst the crowd. A small cry pierces the air, and we are both hurried to see Jenna on her knees, the flying sword having impacted her directly. Are you alright? Good, she accepts my apology. A screeching chorus of metal and metal rings out. Okay, I must remember my training again. I, I, I lost. Wow. A sonorous blow rings out. My weapon glances of a helmet. My opponent is staggering backwards in a daze. I follow up quickly. I swipe faint to left. A hammering blow right. I advance as my adversary backpedals desperately. My sword barely deflecting against, uh, deflected by the barest margin. 
Raibu changes back tack suddenly, and I sense the end is near. I do my best to keep my guard against the storming blows, but the last catches my blade awkwardly, breaking my grip and knocking it into the dirt. The judges call an end. I have lost. Damn. Um, the battle between Lord Simon and Luceris has been decided. I was closely fought, but in the end, Simon battled Luceris to the ground. A fine contest. I lost 50 gold. Uh, Herald Loom, Lou Raimund of Wakefield, and Lord Simon of Freyridge have reached the final. An interesting round. I'm surprised I lost, to be honest. But hey, can't win them all. A sonorous blow rings out as my weapon glances. Nope. Uh, yep. Fine contest. You know, just two. I don't care. So, uh, Lord Simon, who uh, won. Uh, trumpet sounds. The crowd clamors. Uh, competitors begin to assemble. The contest is over and someone's moment in the sun has begun. Good for them. I lost my 40 gold wager. And, uh, yep, 12 days. Let's quickly get to the end of this. Grand tournament conclusion. The sun comes down on the final days of the tournament. The massed crowds begin to disperse. I find myself rummaging, uh, ruminating over the result. My team carries a day in the melee. I had the finest aim of, the, of any in the archery. Lord Simon's purity of the blade had taken home the prize of the duel. I fulfilled my goal of winning a contest. I look forward to the next one. So I get the prize armor, prize scepter. Good. Uh, he gets the prize, I'm bastard. I gain points in these. I gain 50 legitimacy, 75 renown. And uh, yeah, what a great occasion. Thank you, Lord, uh, Lord of Hightower. Awesome. So I've got two trinkets of a favor. I'm going to wear these. And I guess I'll wear both trinkets of the fate ladies, even though I don't like either of them. My fabricate claim on uh, Darstone is nearly done. And there we go. I am home. What can I petition my liege for? Nothing of interest, obviously. So just ignore that. And there we go. All of, I was about to say, if with any luck, all of Darstone will be mine. Um, I'm going to put down another of you. Put it right there. Uh, so, let's have a look at this one. How are you? And, uh, ooh, you have some allies. Maidenpool, which is yeah, really far away. So let's just get straight into this. It looks like he's going to cross over. Um, oh, please, please. Oh, thank fuck. I was very concerned that we were about to not get our troops built up then in time. But uh, there we go. Yeah, we're going to show this guy that we are the winner of this war. With out so much as any real effort. He dislikes me a little bit, but uh, that's fine. The Arbor has uh, managed to grow quite ridiculously strong. Uh, if I was to take the Lord Paramountcy, I would need so much more. But I can also do the next level of High Court. So yeah, so everyone's going to get a little bit more upset with me. That's fine. A grand tournament. I don't have any intention of running my own one. Um, I don't really want to go to. I don't really want to go to another one either. Either. Um. Yeah, let's try and. Yeah, we rustled up his opinions uh, enough now that I can actually maneuver over to someone else without needing to worry about him anymore. Such is the beauty of that. There. My son's my one and only successor. Correct, he is. I don't know what de a designate air does. I guess it just gives you the, you know, super lateral decision making, you know, in that. Even though I feel like we already have that, but we, you know, who cares? Uh, so how is my son turning out? A shadow over starfish? Uh, for so deeply unpleasant, the plague has arrived. Ooh, summon a mesa, definitely. 
Uh, the dim, flickering light of Ellis and Furman illuminates the scene of the physician lays out a plan of attack. I have a number of observations regarding Starfish Harbor's sweat. Chiefly, the way patients uh, are tormented by green fever like they've never seen before. The plague does not appear to be too severe, and it is my recommendation as a professional that we take a light approach to prevent the spread. After all, we do not wish, wish to hurt the economy. Uh, ultimately, the, yeah, let's do a soft approach and see what happens. Uh, prevention success. It would seem the moderate approach has proved successful. The slow in, uh, slow in spread of disease symptoms among the commoners, though the impact is quite minimal, it should at least grant more time to work on a more prominent solution. I don't like that it's literally named after my fucking domain. Uh, enter seclusion or isolate the capital. I don't think either of those are necessary just yet. What is the plague resistance of my capital as it is? You know what? I must look after myself. Let us isolate the capital. See? I now just... I see... I, I didn't do it soon enough. Now I have green fever. Uh, do no more than what is necessary. A little brighter. Good. Um, I am missing my admiral. Um, I'm gonna... Oh, I have the great trade for as I can't. Uh, grave news is recent. My wife has fallen ill. Be cautious. Good. Holy shit, we both look really bad. Like we look really bad. I've just got a I've just got absolute control as well. Oh, my master is on. Oh, sorry, my Castellan's gone. Um Oh shit. Things have got so bad that I could only have... I, I'm not giving up any of my stuff. I inherited the Lordship of Peachtree. Hand that straight out. Um, I invade an ancient plaque. Uh, drink it. Okay, I just inherited a bunch of stuff. My Chancellor's now dead. Fucking hell, this is bad. Oh, I um. Oh, I didn't actually get to press it. Well, let's go get another maester, I guess. Uh, defeat. I really don't care about that. Really don't care about the war lost. Uh, new maester. Great. Cool. Got some prestige. Yeah, my weapon's already better at prowess, but I appreciate your offer there. Actually, can I sell that? No. No, I'll just destroy them so they're out of the way. Cool, my kid has green fever. I'll look after you. And Dickon. My lovely lady wife. Oh, I could create an accolade. Well, oh, Jafar. You are not Janir, but you are now Jafar. I live to fight. Okay, I was wondering if you could actually beat Cam Fever. Then I was a little bit concerned you can't. Or you couldn't. Oh, right. Have I not set you to another job? Oh, my bad. Up you go. Got shit to do. Oh shit, we lost. Oh, because he couldn't have passed it on, we lost it. Silver Guardian. Mm. 
Okay, that's fine. We'll just uh, not. We'll just have to not have it for now. Oh wow. Okay. Ah, she's moved over to another family. That's I really couldn't care less. I mean, she can do what she wants. Oh, thank God, my wife's fine as well. Martin comes of age. They grow up. He's a fucking thrifty clerk. Are you kidding me? So how is how good is he as a he is? He'll do. Uh, little Dickon has always been infatuated with the tales of the King's Guard, none more so than Lord Commander Oswell. Viewing him in the same light as Sir Sowen of the Mirror Shield and Sir Simon Star Eyes, I fall all of his dreams of being like these legendary figures as all children have their uh, heroes they aspire to be like. But as Dickon got older, his dreams of joining the King's Guard have become even more, ever more real. Just the day he came before me and asked to set aside any betrothals I might have planned for him so that he can start training to become a King's Guard. Your duty to family becomes your duty to honor and comes before that, unfortunately. I need my second son here. Even if he's not to inherit lands, he, he needs to be here. I'm gonna control the plague so we can get uh, even more protection against this crap. Is the capital not isolated anymore? What can I petition my liege for? Yeah, literally nothing I'd want to do. So that's uh, cool. Alright. While we've got some money, I think we should... Uh... I'll buy them again. Why not? We upgrade you. Eh, it'll be what'll be. And uh, we'll upgrade you. My poor son, Martin. Oh, fuck's sake. Reduce symptoms, but knowing my luck, I'm about to lose a kid. Oh, it seems to be thriving. Cool. I probably should have read that, but oh well. The gardeners have settled, tried their best to keep the seeds. Oh, whoops. Uh, I guess it uh, grew everywhere. He has no money to give me. Fair enough. Yeah, 15% acceptance with the old, uh, the northerners. And 0% acceptance with the lakemen really far to the north. Uh, during my afternoon stroll down the Shillerstaff Hub, my son Dickon runs up to me. Father, they just started swinging at one another when... He's interrupted by a high-pitched shriek, turning our attention to the fight down the street. The combatants appear to be a couple of pages from my court, circling each other in procession to a tussle. There's a perk called the Firm Hand. Break it up, both of you. Stupid sods. Okay, a new fascination can be selected. Great. Can we, uh... Can we do standing armies now, please? Green fever, balanced humors. Thank God my son's okay. Don't get me wrong. I'd, I'd very much like for my son to, uh... For my other son to go and do the other thing. But, you know, you never know. Uh, there reaches many fine markets and none as grand as mine own. While visiting the local stalls today, I noticed a caravan of foreign traders has set at shop. I overhear chatter from the small folk about the many wares the traders have to offer, some which might improve the domains, to which they arrived and set up shop without proper seeking me, first seeking me. Well, as long as I don't lose uh, some prestige, I really don't give a shit which one option. Now, we've married pretty much everyone who we need to marry off. Actually, that's not true, is it? No, no, you're... Yeah, the only person we haven't got is Dick on a wife. Um, 
Finally, the plague has left the realm. We must take this as an opportunity to rise from the chaos left in its wake. We now merge the wreckage of the old world, and time has come for a new one. Uh, we must spare it all the expenses. We, we, we must spare everything. Lady Allah of the Reach? Yes. That's a Tyrell there. That is his... That is his sister. Okay. Okay, okay, I like that. I'm seeing potential good that can come out of this. Uh, the puppeteer, a bravo's puppeteer has arrived at my call. My steward, having heard the talk of his telling among the local small folk, decided to invite him for a show for my household. The puppet show is disturbing. Fucking great. Let's write down some thoughts. Uh, actually, no, let's pet Shadow. Thank you, my friend. Let's invite some knights, because honestly, we need some. You know, this, this, this country of ours definitely needs more knights. Ares II doesn't seem to have... Uh, he's an adulterer. Uh, I don't see the... Uh, Stupidly insane perk, though. Oh, he's actually marrying a Targaryen this time. That's... Uh, Lord Maylie's Hunt. Honestly, I'm not interested, but I appreciate the offer. Lord Swade, so you're now on positive terms with me good. And uh, we're now an Overseer, which uh, gives us... Some pl annoyingly plague resistance just after we had a plague. Uh, one morning I'm getting ready to face the day. My daughter Jane approaches me. Father, we found this while exploring the Northern Tower yesterday. You should have it. There's a small tattered coin pouch. It makes it makes a jingling sound. Okay, he's only got one claim there, so he needs to go back to work before we uh, go to war. We have 13,000 men. Not really enough, but we'll uh, we'd be able, we'd be able to make do if need be. I can't even join the loyalist faction because I'm an ally. For shame. Where is actually on a weird note? Like, where's best to put these? Yeah, that, that, yeah, that's go there. Uh, you in Starfish Harbor. Yeah, the crossbows don't have to have holding, in my opinion. Could declare wars, you're not wrong. Um, why would I, though, is the real question, you know? Why would I? Uh, let's try and create some accolades again, which we do here. This guy can have one. He's a politica. Sure, whatever. All right, we've recruited that guy to core, which means he can now be a... Uh, still can't be the... Wait, can I seek... Okay, uh, the, oh! A, mar a letter marks of the lords of House Targaryen. Kyrie was maimed by a wild beast. May he repose in peace. According to the Lord's inheritance, Rhaegar Targaryen has been proclaimed the rightful successor to the uh, rule of the Seven Kingdoms. Well then, only time will tell if this is going to be a good thing. Uh... Yeah, things have gone very interesting because obviously we didn't play in the timeline where uh, everyone who needed to be born was already born. I have no clue how accolades work and I, I feel like I'm just never going to understand it.
It's going to be a very easy war there. We'll then take this guy in. Take the islands in there. Slowly but surely, we'll conquer, like, up here and, uh... Well, my problem is I have to, like, get enough power to oppose, uh, Old Town directly. And it's not as easy as, you know, just... You know, he's, you know, he's got a lot of, uh, a lot of strength there. My spy master has come to you with grave news. While we do not know who... Someone is planning to kill my knight Oppo. Okay, good for them. Uh, how is the North doing? Rickard, his son Edwil and Edward. Okay, they're not named correctly. Uh, Edmir. Cool. And the Vale. Like, no, only Mace Tyrell that I know of is, you know, the correctly leading who needs to be lead. Unless this is the Prince Dorian I'm thinking of. Alright, I guess we're going down here now. Awesome. Definitely say I'm happy about the uh, how this is going so far. Educate him as a as a squire and make him into a knight. Train him. I'm proud to see my son no longer as a child but as an adult. Even as a child, Dickon has always had a way with words. Oh, this is just my son leveling up. He is a fierce negotiator. Um. Wait. Why am I training Dickon? I don't want to train Dickon. I want to train Martin. Oh, we'll just offer him knighthood. Uh, we're gonna train my son horse riding. Good. And I just knighted my son. My son and heir is knighted. News reached me my son and heir Martin has been made a knight. He has made House Lavender very proud. That he has. Kinda wish I just knighted you now. Oh well. You know, shit happens. Uh, how good is my Antiquarian? Average. Average is honestly the best we got. God damn it. You're getting... You're really shit at this, uh, you know, claiming stuff. Oh. You know what? Let's do it. Get there done. Gonna take two years. That's fine. Uh... Yeah, we'll just do these straight away. No reason not to. Uh, just show me some, you know what? I oh, will stay for a while, sure. Um, let's do the one that I have the most chance of helping with. Uh, the books, the poor books. Sure, we'll do that one too. Looks like we're going to meet them in combat. Oh, nope, he's uh, pulling away. Uh, strategical impasse. Yeah, I already we've already read these events, so I'm not that's why I'm not reading them. Do that one as well. Oh well, he got away. How dare you? My arbor marines and armored horsemen would like to uh see deal with you. And that's my time for bed. Hopefully the guy is happy with my uh, helping of him. And yep, glad I was able to help, and this war is over. Hand this out to uh, a local Reachman. Yes, I know about hybrid cultures. I'm not an idiot. That that see that came out when I was uh, I already knew what I was doing. Okay, I appreciate the offer though. Game. I don't need a grand tournament. Really don't feel like attending anyone's feast or hunts right now. Yep, and Arbor has now uh, grown even more. A little stressed, so maybe maybe actually joining them would be great for us, but 
Let's look at our legitimacy before we end the pass. If we get to tier three, we'll definitely be good. Uh, walk in my dog. We've had this dog for a long ass time. So he's unfortunately not going to be with us for much longer. It's going to suck. Peruzak, fat mark. Yeah. Uh, oh. Oh, wow. This is cool. Damn, that's cool. Yeah, I don't need any of that else of that, but that's, that's actually... I didn't realize you could do that. That's cool. Who is the uh, current commander of the wall? The Lord Commander Kia of the Umber. Good for you. And my son has a really shit hairstyle, which we will need to tra change as we uh, deal with him. Mace Tyrell's only 26. We're 40. We're 20 years older than Mace Tyrell. Jesus Christ. But unfortunately, guys, we are going to have to end this part here. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you guys did enjoy, please do follow me on YouTube. Leave a like, leave a comment, leave a share. But most importantly, guys, stay safe. Have a great day. Join the channel memberships if you're interested. I'll see you all in the next one. See you guys then.